Watch this, this will be right on one. Shit. Now here comes, now here, just, it just get, becomes really tedious when you're trying to do the moving platforms, because a lot of times you'll slide right off the edge and die. I have to start stage all over. I mean, there's no checkpoints, there's no none of that. It's rather you have save states, or you're pretty much screwed on NES. I mean, SNES. And now, finally, we get back to my ugly bitch of a wife. Fantastic. And so, we're at our last level. World 4, the wilderness. Wah! So, now in the last level, they decide to change the hunter's skin, I guess. They give him a mustache and a hat now, and different clothes. What's the point? Why didn't they just leave him the same? I don't know. They also decided to change the dogs and make them all yellow with really green eyes. They don't even look like dogs anymore. They look like fucking aliens now. Are you fucking kidding me? A little branch like that hurts Beethoven? You don't even notice it until it's too late. It looks like something in the background that wouldn't hurt you, but no, it fucking hurts you. Just like a lot of fucking things in this game. Okay, look at this part here. You'd assume a part like this wouldn't hurt you, but you fucking jump up and there's a boulder that's not even on the fucking screen. You can't even see it. There's parts of these levels where it's just so annoying, like your bar cannot reach the enemy unless you like are on the very edge of the fucking platform, but if you lean off too much, you fucking fall off. And if you don't kill the enemy on the other side, when you try to jump, he hits you right in between and then you just fall yet again. Yeah, seriously, in real life, Beethoven would break that fucking branch. The last thing he'll be doing, bouncing off that thing. And yeah, there's more falling platforms. Although it makes like a little crack noise, so you actually can kind of tell which ones fall this time. Unlike the damn blue boxes in the last level, with no warning whatsoever. And you got the fat hunter who's just chilling in the water and doesn't get wet himself. Only Beethoven seems to get wet. Yeah, eat the power of H2O, damn bolter. Yeah, as Raven Ridge already said, the shaking option is only good for water and nothing else. Otherwise, you just look like a dumbass. Like having a seizure or something. And so we find the final puppy, and he's in a bird's nest. Wow, why are all the enemies friendly to him, but like, shit on my face? To let him chill out in their fucking home, but if I come, if I come anywhere near it, they fucking maul me to death. Alright, so we get to the last level. This level is absolutely, positively, 100% asinine bullshit. They pull out all the stop. Damn it, I get hit by a freaking boulder. And then I get ass raped by freaking little branches and I, yeah, you saw that. You didn't see what I got killed by, did you? It was that little tiny branch, that little prick of a branch. The little tiny thing that's pricking me, I was in just pricking me, and I was on my fucking dad, man. What the fuck? It doesn't make any sense, man. Also, and I gotta carry my freaking dog in the mouth. Shit. Of course I can't do it. There's like two paths to do this. You can do the bottom one, or you can do the top one. And the top one's hard as shit. Full of enemies, and, top, and both of them are hard as shit. Let's just put it that way. This this level is so tedious. I'm not even gonna be able to finish this bitch probably in this in this video. Shit. See now you got fallen platforms again that look like regular platforms. You hear them crackling. And all of a sudden, as soon as you jump up there, you get knocked off by him anyway. Now I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. I guess he's supposed to be a mountain lion or something. But I really don't know. I mean, he doesn't. I really don't know what he is. I don't know if he's a mountain lion or what he was, but anyway, now fire's trying to rape you. Another fucking boulder out of nowhere decides to rape me in my ass and send me down to the fucking hell. I mean, what the hell did I mean, honestly, I've played through this whole game now, and where the fuck is the, is the Newton family? I mean, honestly, it has nothing to do with the movie. There's no Newtons or that girl Rice or... Wait a minute. Why the hell was everybody, everything, a lot, so many damn references of food in the movie, but everybody in the Newton family looked like they were freaking anorexic. The mama had, what, three or four kids, and she didn't even have a lots of fat on her. The dad looked like something off of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids or Blew Up the Kids or whatever it was. And no, 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 we're not having a dog. Even if he can save our children, we're not having a goddamn dog. You know, that's the way he was, and then I was like, ah, because he got all over his shit or whatever. But, um, anyway, pretty much, you know, now you got this eagle trying to fucking rape you. But, I mean, it doesn't make sense because everything is like, you know, Newton, uh, Big Newton, and then you got right. I guess it's maybe it's referencing the healthy food. But if, it, if all they eat is healthy food in that place, because everybody was so damn 
improper. Remember everybody said improper in the movie? You know, I don't know. But, it's just, you know, it didn't have any references to me. Where the hell was you? What the hell? Pierre? Where was Pierre from? This guy right here. This guy I'm barking at. Pierre Del Vac. Or whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it. Little mustache motherfucker. I don't know what you want to call him, but he wasn't in the movie. Neither was his little mountain lion looking thing. I think they got this confused with Homeward Bound. I don't remember a freaking... I mean, the only thing that's remotely from the movie is the dog. And the puppy. And they don't even specify which puppy it is, really. I don't think unless it's between loves, I wouldn't pay attention. I don't remember bats. I don't remember freaking cave. I don't remember any of this garbage. And I mean, on top of that, I mean, how could it be a rush release if it's a movie game that not that has nothing to do with the fucking movie? Anyway, I mean, when, yeah, I'm trying to kill my son, obviously. But I mean, look at this shit. Look at him. He's he's just running around like he's on crack. You know, mountain lions, whatever the hell he's supposed to be, are supposed to be able to jump. And this bat just sees me, and he's just flying back and forth, waiting for me to fall to him. Yeah, he's the only easy enemy in the whole freaking game, but they can be a pain in the ass. I mean, that you know, they're so easy, you know, it's like there's basically no reason to see this bullshit. That's basically, the, that's just BS. Not leveling all of a sudden, this guy's shooting randomly, and he has like unlimited freaking darts for some reason. And for some reason, there's like a billion of these guys that all look the same. He's just a pallet swap with the last fucker. And that just skinned me and I didn't get hurt. I better use Raffi Bark so I can get this bitch on somewhere. And all of a sudden, he runs. Alright, thank God, the bat's gone. Maybe, maybe, I'm right near the end of the level, I think. Maybe I can get out of this. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Let's just see the motherfucking end, because I'm not gonna wa do this shit, man. Good God. And so yeah, you beat the game and it pretty much just shows you the same screen it did at the beginning of the game before you started. Sort of like Barbie Supermodel! Only they, only after the hooray sequence you saved your puppies, they give you this corny drawing of your puppies. Which is just a god awful drawing. Alright, now to rate this game. First, let's rate the gameplay. The gameplay was just not that fun, and it really, really sucked. As you guys can all tell, I use a ton of save states because I just don't have the patience for this game. Like, to, to make sure you beat this game, you gotta take your time and stuff, and by the time that's done, it's like 20 or 30 minutes, but the levels usually take, on average, maybe like 5 minutes. Well, that's if you're good, or if you use save states, that is. And just like Raven Reg said, there's no checkpoints or anything. Once you die, you go back all the way to the beginning of the freaking level. Oh, what else is there? Oh yeah, the jumping fucking sucks. It's hard to time your jump sometimes. And you're so freaking slow. You're so slow. Oh, and I will say yet again, you're a huge fucking dog, but you can't, like, pounce on any of the enemies, even though you're bigger than almost half the enemies in this game. I just don't get it. It's no freaking fun. Your only methods of attacking are barking at them and splashing them when you get wet. What the fuck? They could have done a much better job as far as attacking goes. I think the game should have been more like Jurassic Park for the Sega Genesis. When you choose the raptor, the raptor's just fucking awesome. If When he jumps on guys, they die. He can also run pretty quickly, he can jump pretty good. Why couldn't Beethoven be more like this? This would have made the game so much better. But instead a huge dog like Beethoven such a pussy that when he pounces he gets fucking hurt. He has to bark at them and he has to splash them to death with water. The gameplay I give a 0 out of 5. The gameplay was just atrocious and god awful. Alright, now to rate the plot of this game. First off, why aren't the Newton family in this game? They're both in the first and the second movie, and they played big, crucial roles in both films. I think it was even the Newton family that actually rescued the puppies in the second movie. It wasn't actually Beethoven. Well, from what I recall, even though it has been a while since I saw this film, correct me if I'm wrong. There's even a picture of the whole family on the first movie cover, the second movie cover, and even in the video game there's a picture of the family. So why aren't they in it? Why aren't they helping Beethoven throughout the stages and trying to rescue the puppies with him? Is Beethoven just like a rogue uh, St. Bernard now or something? 
Also, there are no signs of the two bad